Okay, this is the P2 paper from October 2022. It's question number two, which is an algebraic methods question because we've got the remainder theorem here. Then we're going to be using the binomial expansion. And finally, we're going to do a little bit of work on differentiation, but very little bit for that part. Okay, let's jump straight in and look at two part A which says fx is equal to, let's start here, fx is equal to 2 minus kx to the power of 5. And it says that when fx is divided by 4x minus 5, the remainder is that. So what that's telling me, just quickly, if 4x minus 5 equals naught. 4x equals 5, x equals 5 over 4. So that's what I'm going to put into my function there then. So if I do f of 5 over 4, which in other words is 2 minus k, or 2 minus 5 over 4, k to the power of 5. When I do that, I get the answer 2, 4, 3, all over 32. Just tidy this up by getting rid of some of these bits. Don't really need that bit there now. Uh, so I've just got to solve this. Okay, so what I can do is, and that's why they've chosen 2, 4, 3 over 32. If I take the fifth root of both of these, I'm going to get 2 minus 5 over 4k is equal to the fifth root of 243 is 3, and the fifth root of 32 is 2. So if you want to say, uh, take fifth root. Don't need to say that, but just to make it a little bit simpler then. So we can just rearrange and get k from this. We're trying to show k is two fifths, apparently. So just take your time with this if it's um, a proof. I'm going to get 2 minus 3 over 2 is equal to 5 over 4k. So 5 over 4k is equal to a half. And so from there, I'm happy to say, okay, so k works out to be equal to two-fifths. So part A, pretty straightforward using the remainder theorem. Part B, find the first three terms of uh, in ascending powers of x of that binomial expansion. Right, okay, yeah, no problem with the binomial expansion. Just spend a little bit of time talking about the binomial. Uh, I use the idea that a plus b to the n is equal to a to the n plus, now you can say n c1 or you can say n1 written like that in brackets means the same thing. a to the, take one off the power of a, have one lot of b, and then plus we just continue that pattern. So n2, I'm going to take another one off the power of a, which means now I'll have to have b squared, and that just continues plus dot, 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 dot. So if I'm now going to do this with 2 minus 2 fifths x, I'm going to say 2 minus 2 fifths x all to the power of 5 is going to be equal to, and I don't really use that formula, I actually I know what the formula is, so each time it's going to be the first one to the power plus it's 5c1 or 5 bracket 1 like that, and it's going to be now 2 to the 4, and then I need one lot of my x's, plus, just following that pattern through now, 5c2, keep taking one off of that power, which means keep adding one onto that power, and how far do I, that's as far as I need to go there. Okay, so that works out to be equal to, just take your time and plug everything into the calculator or whatever your most effective method is for you to end up with the correct version, the correct coefficients here when we're going through and doing these. Um, just take your time and be careful about the signs and everything else like that. But the binomial expansion then works out to be equal to that. So that's part A and part B done. Part C says, can we find the gradients where, at the point where x equals naught? Okay, well, if this is fx, then if I want the gradient, I'm just going to do f dash x. 
And at first you might think, well, this has got more terms. I just haven't put them in here. So if I differentiate this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get naught. I'm going to get minus 32 because minus 32x differentiates down to that. I'm going to get multiply by the power and take one off. So I'll get 128x over 5 plus. Now there are more terms there. But I've got no problem with that because they, they would all be zero anyway because we're actually doing f dash zero in this case. So if we're doing f dash zero, I'm going to get minus 32 plus 128 times zero over five. And even if I had all those other terms, they'd all work out to be equal to zero anyway. So f dash zero is equal to minus 32. So if I want to find the gradient, which is differential, which is f dash x, at the point where x equals naught, it just works out to be that. Okay, hopefully that makes sense.